Five Dallas officers were killed as payback, police chief says. This is a report from the New York Times. July 8, 2016, the heavily armed sniper who gunned down police officers in downtown Dallas, leaving five of them dead, specifically set out to kill as many white police officers as possible, officials said Friday. He was a military veteran who had served in Afghanistan. He kept an arsenal in his home that included bomb-making materials. The gunman turned a demonstration against fatal police shootings this past week of black men in Minnesota and Louisiana from a peaceful march focused on violence committed by officers into a scene of chaos and bloodshed aimed against them. The sh this shooting was the kind of retaliatory violence that people have feared through two years of protests around the country against deaths in police custody, forcing yet another wrenching shift in debates over race and criminal justice that has already deeply divided this nation. I surely hope that uh, our country, America, doesn't eventually move into civil war over this. Uh, we are in deep trouble as a country. There are so many things happening all around us. And of course, the race issue uh, is a big one and it is a bloody one. I'd like to inject into the midst of this debate what God has to say about the issue of race. In the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 26, this is what God's word says. He has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell upon the face of all the earth. Verse 27 says, he is not far from each one of us. I've got a, I've got a knife here. And if I were to take this knife and if I were to slice my face, my white face, out of this face would come red blood. And if my face was black, and if I sliced it, 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 the blood would be, guess what? The same color. Blood is deeper than skin. There's a lot of issues in this world that go, go far beyond uh, what, what appears on the surface. And the Bible tells us that God made us all. He made us all of one blood, whether our skin is black or white or brown or yellow. Uh, it really, you know, that's not the big issue. The big issue is God is the one who made us and he made us all. Uh, God is, is colorblind. The Bible says that he's no respecter of persons. Uh, skin is not the issue to God. The issue is how we treat each other and whether we do what's right or whether we do what's wrong. If a white police officer wickedly and unfairly kills a black man, then that uh, police officer is accountable to God. He's guilty before God for killing a man that God created. And if a black man wickedly and unfairly kills a white police officer, he also is accountable before God for a sin in the Lord's sight. I have in my hand here one of the tables of the two. Here's two tables and this is one of them. The Ten Commandments that God wrote with his own finger on stone. The sixth commandment, this is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13, says, thou shalt not kill. Uh, in, in the modern, it would be, you shall not kill or you shall not murder. Uh, I've read these 10 commandments many times and I've discovered something. And that is that the word uh, Jew isn't in the 10 commandments. Some people think this law was just for the Jews, but it's not, that's not true. Uh, the word Israel is not in the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were not given just for Israel, but for the world. And as you look at the Ten Commandments, uh, the word skin isn't there either. The word black isn't there. The word white isn't there. Again, God is colorblind. God is bigger than all of these things. God made us all, and we all have the same colored blood underneath our skin. Again, the issue is not skin. The issue is what's right and what's wrong in his in his sight. Somebody should start an organization, a new organization called Black and Why White Lives Matter. Or how about this one? Skin color doesn't matter. If you'd like to tweet that, feel free. We need to get the word out that there's a whole lot of issues that are bigger than the color of one's skin. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 15, here's another verse from the Holy Bible. The scripture says, whoever hates his brother is a murderer. 
And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Uh, all hatred is wrong. All prejudice is wrong. If, if we hate someone, the Bible says it's just like, it's just like killing him. It's just like, or her, it's, it's, uh, it's murder. And the Bible says that if we have a hatred in our heart, if we, if we despise other people because of the color of their skin or, or for whatever, whatever reason, uh, we do not have eternal life in us. If we are wanting to go to heaven, if we want to live with God, if we want to live with Jesus, if we want to have eternal life, uh, we've got to let the Lord take these things out of us. And he's got to take them out of us. We have to let him take them out of us now uh, before Jesus comes. Because when Jesus comes by that time, it is, it is too late. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 11, the Bible says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. God wants us to have love in our hearts for people, whatever they look like. Uh, on the screen here, you'll see a picture of my daughter. Uh, she's eight years old. My little girl, her name is Abby, and she's with her friend, uh, Danielle. I just, just took this picture today. They're sitting by the piano, and they're playing together uh, happily. Uh, these two children, as you can see, one is black and one is white. Uh, they don't know anything about what about what just happened in Dallas or Minnesota or Louisiana. They don't watch the news. They're not aware of all of this. Uh, they play together happily and, and, and they hardly think about the fact that one of their skin is dark and one of their skins is light. This is not part of their world. Uh, Jesus said in the New Testament that unless we become like little children, we shall never enter the kingdom of heaven. Uh, we all need to be changed. Our hearts need to be changed. Our lives need to be changed so that we become uh, simple and humble and loving and pure. These are the kind of people that Jesus is preparing for heaven. In verse 14, 1 John chapter 4, verse 14, John wrote that we have seen and we testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. When Jesus Christ came down from a holy heaven, and when he died on a cruel cross, he died for, for white people, he died for black people, he died for red, those whose skin is red or brown uh, or yellow. Jesus Christ on the cross died. He died for us all. He loves us all and he wants us all to be in his eternal kingdom. And so in the midst of this uh, raging debate, as the New York Times reports, this debate over race and criminal justice that is deeply dividing this nation, May the Lord Jesus Christ change our hearts, take away from us all pride and sin and, and prejudice because these things are wicked and these things are not gonna be in his eternal kingdom. Thank you for watching World News and the Bible.